So nice. I'm I sure like you may have heard that Sony actually announced um, some some new home theater projectors, new 4K XRD home theater projectors. And I was nice enough because I live a couple of blocks away for them to actually provide me with two, the two two samples of the two models for the not last one? few weeks. Not a one. Two? They sent me. They sent me. Two. They sent me. Not only they sent me the the um, actually let's talk about what they are first. Go ahead. The first model that they introduced um, is today or announced today is the VPL VW 915. This is a, um, a their 4K SXRD laser projector that replaces the 885 ES, which was out has been out for a couple of years. And then they also are replacing the VW 695 with the new VPL 715, which is what I have here. So I actually just posted the uh, 915 review on projector.com, uh, projectorreviews.com. Please go check it out. And, um, and I still have the 715 because I'm going to actually do a side-by-side -side comparing this year's VW 715 with the 695 to see if all, if all of the hype is worth it. So pretty cool pieces. So 915ES, the... Is that the one that yeah, v, yeah. Well, there's another one above it, by the way, which I'm trying to be nice and talk them into letting me get. That is called the GTZ 380. That is the Godzilla of all home theater projectors, 10,000 lumens, 100% DCI-P3 laser, um, arc, um, arc F lens behemoth. So basically, take two VW 5000s and stack them together, and this one would still beat that project, those two projectors down. So that one's going to retail for about, I think, 90,000. So I'm trying to get them to let me borrow that. Can you, can you imagine? 90K. 90 10,000 lumens. It's yeah. like Oprah. You get a lumen, you get a lumen, everybody gets a lumen, right? So everybody. I love it, dude. So, nice. so yeah. So, there it is. There it is, baby. So that's the one that I just mm. reviewed. And um, cool. And, and the reason why I wanted to talk to you guys about about them about these projectors is for a long time, in my humble opinion, HDR did not look good on a on a on a projector compared to what it looked like on a um, an LCD or an OLED. And some of the big boys like uh, JVC announced um, uh, dynamic tone mapping last mapping, year. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and also the ability to read the scene frame by frame to better optimize right. that. Well, Sony has a habit of introducing revolution, revolutionary new things with some obscure name. So they came with a new name called the Dynamic HDR Enhancer. And what that is, is frame by frame mm -hmm. um, analysis and tone mapping of HDR10 content. It's actually utilizing the a projector optimized version of the x1 processor that is found oh. on their on their big boy tvs because mm -hmm. for a long time the tvs were not only getting smarter when you talked about you know you know your amazon features but they were also getting smarter and smarter when it became to video processing and it's nice to see after many many years they're taking some of the brains of those um, big bad TVs like the Master Series and starting to incorporate that type of um, firepower, processing firepower. In the projectors, in, in, yeah. In the projectors. 